For this example, I've got a clock source that's going to a molt where one side is uh, running the clock watcher and the other is going to um, a click. So you can hear the, the clock as opposed to the subdivisions of the clock watcher. So it sounds like this. Right now, all four channels of clock watcher are disabled, but using the awesome quad drum voice, I've got the outputs connected to a basic uh, drum kit kind of thing. So channel one is set up to be a pattern of four which is a kick. Channel 2 is a pattern of 8 that has a snare sound. And channel 3 simple pattern. Channel 4 has multiple stages for a pattern of 9. So I'm going to reset them. It sounds like this together. Something that I like to do is have an external source enable and disable parts by enabling and disable channels. So if I use channel three and I'm just gonna plug it into a, an LFO, slow it down a bit. Now this part will come in and out as the LFO square wave goes high and low. Another thing you can do is use a touch surface, for example, Tetrapad, to um, enable and disable a part manually. So it's in when I'm holding it, and then it's disabled when I let go. So. Speed it up a little bit. <laughs> 